hello and welcome to the right vibe at the right time and once again you know it's coming here all live coming here straight from wildcat studios in escondido thanks to our great friends wildcat guitars and james hood guitar repair ladies and gentlemen wildcat studios is proud to present an acoustic showcase featuring great artists such as jess phelan m cable lady Ree, and savannah k coming to you in just a few moments so stay tuned Hi, I'm Jessica Phelan, and I'm here at Wildcat Guitars in Escondido, and I came to play a few songs, and I hope you like them. I wonder if you ever wonder how I am these days After you made me feel so stupid like you had already Funny how those were the words that cut the deepest Cause that's when I finally understood Your words never matched how you treated me When you said we should just be friends But we've never been Be 
be there when I needed you. You wouldn't be walking away thinking loving me looks like leaving. Someone somewhere else And I won't push him away And until then I'll settle for crying myself to sleep I see your face in every dream It's the only one who doesn't leave me Like the time you said we should just be friends but we've never been friends And it never crossed your mind You had ever taken time To be there when I needed you You wouldn't be Loving me looks like leaving You wouldn't be walking away Cause loving never looks like leaving That um, is a song about someone who left me In case anyone was wondering <laughs> Thank you yeah. Thank you Um this next song that I'm going to play is actually the first song I ever wrote and the first song I ever recorded. The only song I've ever recorded, actually. And on the record, it's actually much faster, um, but that's not how I wrote it. I wrote it really slow, so that's the only way I can play it. So I hope you like it. It's called Don't Hurt Me. Consider this your warning. My heart's a little broken. It's not ruined, but it's not right I'm trying to be honest So you know what I need from you Don't want to hurt anymore Than I hurt before you Thank you. 
you. Thank you. And this is my last song that I'm going to play. It's called Addicted to Me. And it's, I think, my favorite one I've written so far. So hope you like it. Wish I was as smooth as your Tennessee whiskey Easy going down dangerous when you get me Help you know your pain but gone in the morning Maybe that you I could be that enticing Wish I had a hold on you like any of your vices You call me your angel then you say goodbye so to me Wish I could get you high like the joints you love smoking You never leave a house without keeping me close to your heart and If I could help you And I wish I could be that enticing I wish I had a hold on you like any of your vices You call me your angel then you say goodbye so to me I know you're leaving me I can see it in your eyes you rather lose me forever than even try and I know you I wish I had a hold on you like any of your vices. You call me an angel, then you say goodbye so easy. Oh, I wish you were addicted. You still be here with me. Wish you were. To me. Thank you, Wildcat Guitars, for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! This is my first time, so I'm so excited. <laughs>
live. <laughs> Oh, hello, everyone. My name is Lady Re. I'm so, so happy to be back here at one of my favorite studios in San Diego, Wildcat Guitars up here in Escondido. I'm just marinating right now on all the feminine energy, all the amazing, talented artists that are that have come before me. Shout out to Jessica. She killed it. Um, and you have some amazing talent coming after as well. And I'm so excited to share some original songs with you all. Some of them are unreleased. All of them are unreleased. So we're in for a treat and a surprise this time. So let's get into it. This first one's called Come Down to the River and Get Ready because I might ask for your help at the end. you dirty covered in scum the world got you bleeding it's got you done wasting away with a day to day life's got you tired out overrun life's making your song cry tears they come time on your shoulders like a sack of boulders don't you like the water flows, though the rock's boat flows, on and on it goes. Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river? present right now ain't forever so don't let it waste you come from the heavens your divinity your heaven against the lies and cheats and evil forces wrought with deeds to keep you under keep your head up don't you fall to you can walk on water if you don't look down honey together and feel yourself down at the river is going mm -hmm. won't 
Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river with me? Won't you come down to the river? Thank you so much. Oh, bless y'all. I hope y'all at home felt that one. Who's singing along? <laughs> I'm going to switch out my ukuleles real quick. Oh, my goodness. I'm buzzing, y'all. I felt good. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Y'all sounded beautiful. I can't hear you at home, but I know y'all sounded good. I know y'all was holding it down. Oh, my goodness. So this next one. Oh, sorry, Wayne. <laughs> All right, so this next one is about my time living in New York. It's called Always Been. And this one is actually on the Spotify's and all the streaming platforms that you so choose to use. So look it up there. It's about New York City, the greatest city on earth, and never being alone anywhere. The best Sundays are when it rains, water droplets, bitter batter on window panes. The best shadows are on the walls of the brick and mortars painting your overalls and over all the bridges and buses and buildings if you're willing you can see the giant sky waving high. Hello, my old friend. I've always been near. Where were you on the two or the seven? Reaching for heaven, clutching your crown, queen. You found. I've always been here. I've always been here. The best music is underground. rat a tat tat it on something lost or something found. Ow. The best season is for spring's kiss. When your skin soaks in the sunlight that you missed In winter's bliss and over bridges and buses and buildings If you're willing, you can see the giant sky waving Hi, hello my old friend, I've always been near Where were you? On the queue Or the elf train headed for Brooklyn Clutching your crown queen I've always been
I've always been. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I love that song. If you've ever been to New York City, you know how chaotic it is. And I wrote this uh, because despite being in a, a city of literally millions of people, it's very easy to feel alone. Um, so this was my reminder to myself that my creator, my higher power that guides me is, is with me everywhere I go. So. Yeah. This one isn't about New York, but it was written in New York, so it's about a houseplant. Her name is Josephine.
Thank you so much, Wildcat Guitar Studios. This is always an honor, and I'm so excited for what's to come. Stay tuned. I'm Lady Ree. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's M. Cable, and I'm really happy to be here um, at Wildcat Guitars, uh, hanging out with some really awesome artists tonight, uh, here all to share three uh, original songs with you. So I'm gonna start with a song um, that I wrote earlier this year, one of my first songs I wrote this year, um, called Surrounded, uh, originally inspired by sort of the feeling of being swept up in, in somebody's energy, whether that's good or bad, that's sort of your for you to decide, but uh, yes, yeah, so this is called Surrounded. My eyes burn, staring into a flames, and I am choking on the ashes left behind. Lit up like a spark A blazing light will blind you From the darkness That hides behind her eyes Like a wildfire Ripping through the night Oh yes, she burns Consuming
Thank you, thank you. Uh, so yeah, so that was, a, that was a song called Surrounded. Again, we're here at Wildcat Guitars having a really nice night. I'm um, going to play another song for you. Um, another song I wrote this year. Uh, it's called In My Head. Also, all three of these songs are unreleased, but they're coming out by the end of the year. Um, this song's called In My Head. Uh, it's a little bit about falling in love or the hesitation to do so and kind of living inside your own head sometimes, so. from the pain that was left from someone else wasted oh baby I'm wasted try not to face that I'm hiding from myself Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. That is a song called In My Head. Uh, my last song I'm going to play for you is a song called I Don't Want to Know. Um, you know, I'll let you kind of listen to it and, and take what you will from it. Sometimes I don't like to over explain my songs. I like to write from experience, not always necessarily mine, and life experience and things I've seen and heard. and people's lives all touch each other's right so it's kind of where that comes from so the song is called I don't want to know 
This has been a really nice, fun evening with some amazing, talented women. Um, but yeah, again, my name's M. Cable. Thank you for having me. And uh, Savannah Kay will be up next.
Hello, my name is Savannah Kay. I'm so happy to be back here at Wildcat Guitars for round two. <laughs> uh, wow, goodness. I don't know if you guys seen uh, the, our previous artists, but oh my goodness, they're so talented. Like, I hope you guys are listening to the lyrics because there's some killer lyrics up in here on this live stream tonight. Like, killer artists. Y'all need to follow them. Like, pronto. <laughs> but anyways, my name is Savannah Kay. I'm a singer-songwriter um, from Oceanside, and I'm happy to uh, sing three of my original songs, um, True to My Heart, and they are um, unreleased too. So uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so they're nowhere to be found other than at my live gigs. So <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, so uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, so my first song is going to be Turquoise Blues. I wrote this song a few years ago. Um, I hope you guys uh, love it. It's about, of course, losing someone. Love, so. <laughs> See you in my dreams Can't shake you from my fantasies After all this time I still think about you, boy Even though it's been so long Every time I hear that slow song Reminds me Yes, my baby. 
That was turquoise blues. And now <laughs> I shall show you my other child. Uh, this is uh, Kissing Kate's um, fun story with this one. This is a storytelling song, so it's this very lyric, um, a big lyric component to it. But it's, I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Holes. I don't know if everyone's seen it. There's this lady bandit called Kissing Kate Barlow. <laughs> and I was inspired by that movie, so I was like, you know what? I got to sing about homegirl Kissing Kate. So this song is uh, called Kissing Kate. And I guess it's real relevant to, like, girl power tonight because there's, you know, all of us female artists and stuff. Well, um, you guys know about the, you know, the story of Kissing Kate, you know, how she was, like, bandit girl, like, uh, the sheriff, you know, like, killed her lover, so she, like, killed him back and stuff you know I'm gonna be like you know and she's on the run so this is I added stuff to it but yeah this is this is kissing Kate <laughs> Kiss the sky with your sweet on lips Rattlesnake blood on your fingertips Crystal ain't low in a python boots She's the queen of the dam with the blood on her hands Only an outlaw understands In East of Texas she was reckless the legends chase the wild winds She had the best shot in the game Her allies are just a James of shame If you haven't heard her name You'll know it when you're in a rain And they say One of these days when the grill leaves sky Only let God will tell you But you're chasing the moon Running from the sun's fade It's a tough life y'all can relate We're living like kissing Kate Come a blue haze in the dim lit room Little hang by the poppies you As she was touched by the devil with a voice smoother than whiskey And those eyes forged in fire When she crosses fools and liars Stories run floating town to town Of a blonde with a smitten wasted Taught that crooked sheriff a lesson When he tried to bring her down she left nothing but a lipstick stain And that was when she rose to fame And they say One of these days on the green leaf sky Oh, then God will tell you why Well, you're chasing the moon Running from the sun's fade It's a tough life y'all can't relate If you're living like you said, Kate For let the side in your face It's a tough life you learn to hate Not many make it past this small town The dust kicks up more than tumbleweeds The West has a different kind of breed A man with stomach full of greed There's one of signs on every bulletin The odds pass it by so wide Fear. But things aren't always the way they appear This way of life was never her intention Even though the posters never mentioned She once had a good heart They say One of these days on the green leaf sky Only that guy will tell you why While you're chasing the moon Running from the sun's face Tough life, y'all can't relate to be living like you sin, Kate. She's now riding towards Colorado. Who knows how long she'll run if she can make it past those hired guns. It's a life.
life of a lonely desperado It's hard to shake the fate of kissing Kate They say One of these days on the gray leaf sky Only that God will tell you why While you're chasing the moon Running from the sun's face It's the life y'all can't relate When people like you sing Kate Living like you sin Kate. If you're living like you sin Kate. If you're living like you sin Kate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that was my baby kissing Kate. Now I shall show you guys my third baby. Um, this is uh, Rattle Your Bones. Yeah, all these are like unreleased. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> but yes, Rattle uh, Your Bones is a metaphor, I like to say, for like, you know, kind of lose yourself kind of. Um, but Rattle Your Bones, I wrote this song when I lost my job as a bartender. <laughs> And, uh, you know, uh, got broke and stuff, so then I was inspired to write a song, Being Broke. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that in some way and sense. I mean, who knows, maybe COVID or something where we lost a job and stuff. So this is, uh, this is to all my working class and uh, everyone out there <laughs> that can relate. <laughs> this is uh, no, that's rattle your bones, and I hope it rattles your brain. <laughs> Lost my job yesterday. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna make it okay? I got food damn bills to pay. They don't think I'm okay. So I'm gonna say, but why can these boots and understand these roots? Maybe then you'll understand. This way of life they ain't planned They don't know these struggles They don't know There's two hundred bucks and I take a girl Still my name, I'm not sure how to breathe And there's a lot at stake They say it's what you make Out of crazy life that you live in Shaking up the shame When the pain rattles your bones again Rattle your bones Thinking of the unknown My heck is spinning Cause I ain't winning But I'd rather take shit Than not for me It's hard for them to see When we don't share the same dream I feel to think on reputation I hate The shame carries a lot of weight Now there's something that you don't know There's two hundred bucks in the tank I guess to my name, I'm not sure how to breathe And there's a lot at stake They say it's what you make Out of crazy life, they'll you leave it Travel park credits in my name I'm shaking up for shame Woo! When the pain rattles your bones It can rattle your bones Thinking of the You 
you can work yourself to death But you won't come closer and Like a horse and you can't repent You just can't be content Cause there's two hundred bucks and I take a guess To my name, not sure how to breathe When there's a lot at stake They say it's what you make out of crazy life that you leave it Shovel pot credits my name oh, I'm shaking up for shame When the pain rattles your bones I can't rattle on your bones Thinking of the unknown Oh, I can rattle your bones Thinking of the unknown Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Wildcat Guitars for having me. I'm so blessed to be here again and um, everyone uh, get your guitars at Wildcat Guitars because they're wild. Yeah. yeah. Stay wild. Stay Wildcat Guitars. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Savannah Kay. <laughs> Welcome back. We just had an incredible acoustic performance brought to you by all sorts of amazing artists. And we're here right now with Jess Phelan, who went first. And good Lord, those vocals, those lyrics, <laughs> insane. If you missed it, do yourself a favor. Go back and watch it again, because that's the beauty of the Internet. It ain't going nowhere. So let's just jump right into it, girl. Where are you from? I'm from San Diego from here, oh. Rancho Bernardo. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you never decided to go anywhere else, huh? Why I'm, leave when it's perfect? I mean, right? it's perfect here. No, I did actually <laughs> accidentally live in Kansas City for a little while. <laughs> Ah, I little pit tripped stop. over in the airport. Tripped, yeah, tripped, tripped a little bit, got married, had a couple kids, and then came back. Oh, so. hi, kids. Yeah. Hi, babe. <laughs> hey, well, something good came out of yeah, it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Kansas City, Tech 9, KC Mo. Yep, yep. There's, yep, there's that. Mm -hmm, there's that. <laughs> so, um, what's one of your biggest musical influences? Um, I don't know. I really love old country music mm. i grew up on that i also grew up on a lot of um motown 
classics, a lot of those vibes, and then also just a lot of like really intense praise and worship music coming oh. from my gospel. parents. Gospel. Yeah, gospel. Mm. So yeah, kind of all over the place. That's good. You got to pour inspiration from everywhere, and it really shows on your music too. Thank you. That's awesome. Let me ask you what kind of guitar you're playing on tonight. I'm playing a Martin. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah. it's a beautiful guitar. It was a gift from my brother, who's mm -hmm. my biggest musical inspiration. And um, We're going to have to get him in here. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, um, he's playing tonight, or I was going to try to rope him into it. He's in Tennessee at this moment in time. But, um, yeah. And Living I, your dream? <laughs> Whatever. I mean, yeah, somebody <laughs> should, right? Um, and that is, yeah, that's it's the only guitar I've ever had, and it's I'm obsessed with it. It's like a little baby, and I'm I'm like nervous about it, and I if it's out of my sight, I get worried, mm. um, like now. But I'm sure it's fun. <laughs> sure it's fun. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: If you don't have already have your dream guitar, which mm -hmm. sounds like you do, mm -hmm. what's next on the bucket list, or what do you got your eye on? I don't know. I actually want a Warrior guitar. Warrior is a guitar um, place in Tennessee that my brother works for. They're amazing guitars. Oh, they specialize in basses, but they make acoustics too, because I could touch a bass. Mm. <laughs> I but wouldn't say that. They're beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful custom guitars, and they're they're just the most incredible things I've ever seen. So, so your brother lives out in Tennessee? He does, yeah. So when's he going to come out here? Huh? I don't know, Kyle. <laughs> when are you going to come visit your family, bro? <laughs> when are you going to come visit your family? <laughs> well, he just had a baby, so he's off the hook. Oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's been coming for a while. He's got some time, yes. So where can we find your music? I'm on Instagram and on TikTok as well. I'm at Jessica Phelan Music, and it's P-H-E-L-A-N, but it's pronounced Phelan like she's failing. But she ain't. She <laughs> rising. We're going to change your name to Jessica Rising. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I like everything to work with that, probably. So do you, do you got any other shows coming up? I don't, because I'm, I'm so brand new to all of this, but I did a podcast with Music Makers San Diego, oh. and it actually comes out tomorrow. We awesome. did it at Amplified Studios, and it was just amazing. It was like the most incredible experience, and um, another amazing musician, Joshua Taylor, played guitar what up, Josh? for me. What's up, Josh? <laughs> and it was just, it was wonderful, and it actually comes out tomorrow, so if you're interested, you can listen there. And where will we find it? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, Music Makers SD. Um, that's his Instagram, and the link is there. And then I'll also have it on my Instagram and TikTok in my bio, too. You can find it. Boom. So make sure you tune in and find her. Do yourself a favor. Again, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Always a pleasure. But we got to get the Nehe Lady Reed coming up. Ooh. It's your turn, girl. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> Just slide on in here, girl. The Monovan. Oh, uh, it's the hat. <laughs> the hat. Quick rep. Shout yeah, out yeah. Wildcat Guitars for hosting. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. the beautiful studio. I'm so happy to be back. Mm, oh, so good to have you back. Wow, girl. Like... The first time we met, you were with the band, and I was just, like, fell in love. I was like, look at this girl, just getting it. And then I got to come and get you back here solo, which was like, whoa. <laughs> and I've really been dying to get you back ever since. Dying to come back. <laughs> so, let's see, where are you, where are you from? Ooh, I've been around. I've been around, but I am originally from, born and raised, Richmond, Virginia, Cap City. What, what, <laughs> 80 <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. How far is that from you, Alex? <laughs> uh, uh, two hours. Oh, that's far. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, he's, you're from East Coast? He's from Virginia. I'm from Virginia. Mm -hmm. Whereabouts? I'm sorry. Vienna. Vienna, okay. Yeah. Like the sausage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school in the valley, uh, Bridgewater, Harrisonburg area. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. My wife went to JMU. There, yes, <laughs> my fiance went to JMU. There you go. Crazy. Yeah, but I was about to ask you how to see you here. I was like, where's the hubby at? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's working. He's working. Mm -hmm. but Quit. He's, he's <laughs> here in spirit. He's on my finger. There you go. There we go. Uh, never leaves her. Never leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Well, what's one of your biggest musical influences? Honestly, Je when Jessica mentioned gospel music, like, yeah. that's me. You know, I grew up yeah, in the South. I grew that. up around that. I actually, in college, I directed a gospel choir. So, 
Uh, but I also love just so many different genres of music. Mm -hmm. Quick side note, growing up, I hated the sound of people chewing. <laughs> <laughs> so Virginia so, was the place it. to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, so it was like a staple in my house at dinner time to always have music on. And my dad mm. just had, both of my parents, but my dad definitely had this vast selection. Could go from classical to Christian hip hop to Motown era music, you know, mm -hmm. and to like some folk, guitar, jazz, like... So my, my influences were kind of all over the place, but I think Good. vocally, I really hold strong to, to those Southern roots and that gospel sound. So even having the ukuleles that are more of like a folksy, you know, like mm -hmm. lighter, happier sound, my vocals sometimes, like it's, it's been funny to find the marriage between the two, <laughs> like very light and, you know, floaty and then like kind of coming in with the strong yeah, vocals, yeah. but I'm a gospel gal. Yeah. Girl. I'm a little church girl. That song about your <laughs> plant. I was like, this is a song about a plant. I was like, get out of here. I was right when you said that, I was like, I'm so interested in seeing this. <laughs> and then it's just like, it makes so much sense. <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Inspirado from anywhere. Uh, just yeah. the mass bored at home, staring in the corner, like, is that plant right there? That's literally what it was. I was on the couch <laughs> and I was looking, and I was like, oh my goodness, like this, she was a pothos, like the long, mm. you know, it can kind of come and propagate. Mm -hmm. I was looking at her, I was like, how do you do this in a city like New York like how do you grow and I was kind of you know parallel to that trying to figure out like how do I grow in a place like New York City and so the song just kind of poured out on me yeah it's crazy <laughs> well when did you move out here from Virginia 2019 yeah oh not too old oh, for three years. ran yeah. right into not a pandemic huh? fresh. <laughs> I'm fresh yeah. she 2019. came out here she's like I'm about to tear up the scene One year, pandemic like, <laughs> 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 Cut me gave you a lot of time off. to write <laughs> it really did, it really did. <laughs> you actually yeah. played uh, not when we first met you were, you played over there at, at the Wildcat Guitars for, during the pandemic I did. You know, one um, of the, yeah. Well, that's when we started all this was because nobody could play shows. Mm, that's so true. And we we're just like people wanted to play. People were hungry to play. Oh, oh my god! And thank oh y'all for creating that space. That was a big moment for me. I hadn't really done much in that mm. time. I've been kind of like, where do I go? What do I do? And y'all offered this couch right here. And that's the one. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you playing on tonight? Yeah. So no. my soprano ukulele is a caramel. And um, I have to shout out my guitarist, my amazing guitarist, Jeremy Casey. Um, I needed one with a, a pickup. I didn't have mm. a ukulele with a pickup. And he was like, Re, you need this for gigs. If you're going to keep playing gigs, you got to plug it into something. And I <laughs> was really broke at the time, literally poor. And he, he fronted me on it and just and got it for me. Uh, so that was my little surprise. That's love right that's there. Love. Thank you. Shout out to Jeremy yeah. Casey, my boy. Uh, Man, that's looking out. Yeah, I was looking you know, out. Um, how you going to hide those vocals, though? You're like, nah, you need this. Hold you on. You need this. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Now, like, let's um, write some songs. I needed that. <laughs> and then um, my baritone ukulele is Akala. Mm. Uh, you know, standard brand. Actually, they have names. Um, the soprano is Pickup, and the baritone is Barry. I'm saying it, and I'm like, that's not original. <laughs> but I like them. That's who they are. Pick up and Barry. Um, Barry is a Kala. Um, and my fiance, my love, actually got that for me. Um, I kind of wanted to explore heavier, like more bolder sounds without like mm. fully stepping away from ukulele into guitar. Is and, that how he got you? He's you know, like, or, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> you want ukulele? <laughs> he was already in at that point. He was. But yeah, so those, those are my two babies, my uke babies. <laughs> awesome. Well, do you play guitar? Or? Not at all. Well, what's your dream? I guess, do you have a you, you dream ukulele already, or you got your iPod you know, or something? I, I you got some Fender know. ukes over yeah, there. Yeah, that I am intrigued by. I would mm. love to, like, play around with, well, like... Well, that's what is, they're is there there for. There's, like, a bass mm -hmm. ukulele, right? Like, I think they're, like, bass ukuleles, and, like, I'm, right? Yes, you know? are. So, <laughs> of course. Yeah, like, just like, <laughs> you know, like, my voice, I always feel like my voice is my main instrument, for right. sure, you know, but I do want to develop my ukulele skills, and I mm -hmm. love to. You, know, you play like, great too. Oh, so thank you, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Practice makes progress. Well, if you do get, <laughs> if you do get interested in one of them Fender oops, oh, where else would I go? You are, you're played here. Everyone here gets an artist discount. Where else so would remember you go? that. Come over here for your come next on purchase. Y'all want to learn guitar? Come, come here. Yeah, they're nice. We won't teach you, but we'll let you play one. <laughs> well, <laughs> get the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Tips are extra. <laughs> so where can we find your music? So you can find me on Instagram, of course, um, at Lady Re Music, L A D Y. R I Bam. music. Um, and then on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all the things that stream music, you can find um, mm -hmm. three of my original songs right now, and I'm working on an EP. Yeah, you is. 
So but you're out in LA right now, huh? I am. Um, yeah. We lost her. We had her stand here. But, but she I'm made back. the trip. I come she made back the trip. Thank you so much. Frequently, actually, I do. I well, come I'm back to you, you came here, of course. You, go, you can't just leave us. I can't. Yeah. I mean, it's home. San Diego's really where, like, I. My career took off, mm. you know. So, but life happens, and it's oh, a little course. detour, you know. Mm-hmm. But I might find my way back here. I think maybe sooner. We'll than be waiting. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you got any shows coming up? I do actually mm. this weekend in San Diego. It's another reason yeah. why I'm here. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> um, it's San Diego Food Markets in downtown. It's uh, Lane Field Park, which is the old Padres Stadium, mm-hmm. I believe. Um, and I have a set there, 12.30 to 3. It's an acoustic duo set with my guitarist, Jeremy Casey, as I mentioned. And yeah, we do a lot of covers. I sprinkle in some originals there. And it's open air. There's a lot of food and vendors and artisans. And it's really an incredible experience. So that's Sunday, August 28th, 12.30 to 3. Come out, bring the friends, bring the fam, bring a blanket, get some good food. It's it's always a really good time down there. Sounds like a good time. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, and that's, that's all we know. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Always oh, a pleasure. I appreciate y'all. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. We got next up is M Cable. Come on, M. Oh, M. girl. Yeah, girl. Also. <laughs> 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 Take this lovely throw yes. pillow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's very British, I've heard, to hold a pillow when you sit. Oh. It's like a tea thing. Well, pick your pinkies English. up then. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, hi. Where hi. are you from? I am originally from Philadelphia, the Philadelphia area, I should yeah. say, northwest of Philly. Cheese yeah. <laughs> East Coast, uh, born and raised, and I moved here about six years ago mm. um, when I was... A little younger Mm -hmm. uh, after college and kind of uh, stuck around ever since. And I fell in love very quickly with San Diego. So that's right. Happy to be here. Let me ask you this. When you're in Philadelphia, Mm -hmm. most of your days were on the playground. Is that where you chilled most Most of your days? Most of the days. Most of the days until my mom told me I had to get out. Ah. The the sun situation. (laughs) sunshine. (laughs) Always sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. I don't know if you guys heard. <laughs> I heard yeah. that one. There's a great bar Patty, out there. Patty's Pub's a yes. cool place. Uh, so. They're really good in bird law. Bird law? Mm-hmm. Bird. <laughs> I could go on and on. Yeah. Oh, we, oh, don't get us started. We'll forget about yeah. this interview. Let's, go, let's talk sunny in Philadelphia real quick. <laughs> the dentist system. Uh, yep. Oh, you went there, huh? We, you can't, we can't go there. The implication yeah. is... <laughs> Because of the implications. <laughs> because of the implications. <laughs> well, what's I'm sorry funny? for everyone who doesn't watch this show. I uh, I'm not. apologize. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Stream it on Hulu. Hey, shout out, Sonny and Philly. Yeah. So what's one of your biggest musical influences? Uh, you know, for me, I, you know, growing up in my house, my parents were very much into music and still very much are a lot of classic rock in my house, a mm. lot of classic rock, a lot of, honestly, a lot of 90s grunge rock. I, I grew up in the early 90s. You know, yeah, yeah. I was, well, I was born in the early 90s. Grew up on Nirvana and that kind of sound as well. But And I'm also very much influenced by uh, some kind of more folk rock, like, uh, Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Nicks is one of my biggest, oh, yeah. Stevie Nicks is one of my biggest inspirations like my my soul sister, mm. <laughs> I very much. I think uh, she's inspired a lot of people. There. Yeah, she's, she's an incredible person. Yeah. So, uh, incredible songwriter, singer, voice, just uh, aura of a person. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so kind of all over the map with my music taste growing up. But a lot of rock. Um, you have great songs. Oh, thank you. You do thank you great songs, much. great lyrics, everything all around. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what were you playing on tonight? Um, yeah, so the guitar I brought with me today is, uh, is a Fender. It's nice. a Fender acoustic. I feel like a lot of times people don't see too many Fender really acoustics. Um, but it was a, 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 a gift from a friend, and uh, I've been playing it for a little while now, so it has a nice sound, and I enjoy playing it. So, yeah, got that, <laughs> got that Fender. My first guitar was a, was a Martin acoustic that my mm. parents bought me when I was a younger kid, and I still have it. It's a little, it's a little banged up, but it sounds it's got great. Character. It just doesn't, plug, it just doesn't plug in, so that's why it doesn't get toted around uh-huh. with me to gigs because I can't plug it in. So that's my favorite guitar that I have. Well, yeah. what's your dream guitar? Just next on the bucket list. I don't know if 
I necessarily have a dream guitar, but right now I have a I have a G and T Strat electric guitar that I really like. Mm. But I would like to maybe get a Gibson or something, mm. change the sound up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. See what you come up with that. Yeah, or? just come up with a, you know just a different sound. My electric stuff, so. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. We definitely got yeah. some next door stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, artist discount. Come check it out. That or yeah. or, or a hollow body electric. Um, yeah. I'm not. PRS. Too uh, not, not too particular about PRS. the PRS. Really want a hollow body. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a few of my friends recently, and it just has a really good sound. Uh, and it's light. Yeah. It's light. <laughs> yeah, unlike a Gibson or a Les Paul, which are so heavy. But yeah. <laughs> so I'd say hollow body. So do you have any shows coming up? Um, so this upcoming uh, month, September, I'm actually going to be spending a lot of time in recording my music. Like I mentioned that those three songs are uh, unreleased, not recorded, so I'm going to re be recording those and three others. So full band? Full band. Mm -hmm. full, full band recording. Uh, we'll be doing six songs. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, by October we'll be having those out on Spotify and iTunes and wherever you listen to music. Um, but in terms of shows for September, I have um, I have a set in Pacific Beach at the Hideout on September 15th, which I believe is a Thursday, 7 to 10. So I'll be there. Um, off the top of my head, I believe that's it for the. <laughs> okay, we're doing two weekends of recording, so that's why I'll be spending most of my time. Oh, there you go. Yes. So you have plenty to look forward to. You got albums coming, our EPs coming yep. out. She's got a couple of show, maybe two. We'll find another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you never know what happens last minute. Too. What's your handle on Instagram? So if you follow me on Instagram, it's M Cable E M Cable like television C A B L E, which is getting outdated to say cable like television. I should say like cable like plugging into your into your mics and. Yeah. Your right. The cable, Stay current. Right? Yeah. And cable, a uh, little underscore, but that's where you'll find me on Instagram. And mm -hmm. I will post about the upcoming music and any shows that I have on there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you again for thank being for here. This me. was awesome. Thank you so much, so much talent here tonight. Oh, my goodness. Now we got the last but certainly not least, oh. Miss K Savannah. Come, please. Come on down. You know? <laughs> what up, girl? Hey. <laughs> Hello. You know, it's so funny. It took, it took me so long to get this girl in here. And now we've seen her a bunch. <laughs> so I just needed to get her in here. I was like, she'll be back. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Thank hello, you for hello. Having me. I'm so happy to be back. Oh, so happy to <laughs> have so you. So soon too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying. Cool. Remember we were talking last. We were talking about I do the acoustic thing, and I was like, oh, we'd love to have you. And I was like, you know, maybe we'll do an all girl one this time, you know. And then yes. I, was like, I was like, let's just do it. And then just bam, <laughs> and we got some great talent oh, here it's tonight. Been like wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you come to the six string jungle. Yes. It gets wild. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the wild jungle. <laughs> well, where are you from? I'm from Oceanside. So, yes, Oside, you know, Oside or no side. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> yes, yep. Yeah, I've been here my whole life, so this is just, if anything, like a town over. <laughs> <laughs> so right, just a couple cool. towns there, the hot yeah. skip and a jump. Yeah, hot mm -hmm. skip and a jump, mm -hmm. you know, one road here, one road there, and but a mean but a boop. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of your biggest musical influences? Because we have there's, there's country artists out here, but it's not a huge genre out here, you know. Yeah, so, so I love finding them when they're out. I'm like, oh, so I, I love country myself. Oh, so, yes, but it's I there's do. just storytellers. Oh. As a songwriter myself, it's just like you can really feel country music, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's real mm -hmm, gritty mm -hmm. and like. Like uh, down to business, mm -hmm. and like you can be raspy with it. You can, you can I mean, rattle your bones. Yeah, you, know you can get rowdy. Yeah, <laughs> rattle your bones. Wow, that's good. I love the puns. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, well, um, I, it's, it's funny because um, I just like um, am here. Uh, I grew up to classic rock, uh, folk music. Uh, like and uh, I recently got into country music. I want to say a few years ago when I started going line dancing at a country <laughs> bar here in Temecula, and I was changed. You know, uh, there's a song. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think if I went line country. dancing, I'd be changed too. Yeah, you know that song, What Makes You Country? Like, look, Brian, I think about that so oftentimes. It's like, when did you become... I'm more uh, of a Luke become, Combs fan. Yeah, Eric, I can't, yeah, I know I love Luke Combs, but this song, I, it just, I was hearing it the other day on the radio. I was like driving and he's like, What Makes You Country? And then he was like, something about how, what, like, like, um, like something like you know like religion where you'd like you I can't remember the exact word he said but like what what got you into like this and I was thinking in my head I'm like wait the dancing bars and stuff <laughs> dancing uh, like the drinking just yeah, that yeah. having fun like let loose like life's too short and I got real inspired so then I fell and out I fell down the the Alice in Wonderland yeah, hole yeah. into all of the greats like oh my god like Shania Twain yeah oh, she, oh I see come her on live. Now. Shania Twain oh yeah oh. she's definitely inspiration <laughs> Stevie Nicks cause like oh come on guys Stevie come Nicks on. yes it, should we Rihanna say more? is like the anthem of like everything <laughs> yeah she's so cool Dreams oh, is one of my favorite songs mm. but yeah a lot of my songwriting definitely is inspired by Fleetwood Mac uh, Neil Young He's inspired a whole yeah. lot of yeah. stuff. He, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got me into the harmonica. And I have this other song I use, I play harmonica with and stuff. But, but oh, yes. man, we got to have her back. We got to get her back. My tumbleweed song. Yes. Um, yeah, harmonica. Like, I don't know. It's just Country like. Country titles are so good. Yeah, I know. It's so fun. You got to have some. You know, tumbleweed. Rattle your bones. Or mm -hmm. uh, kiss and cake. I just brought it to Kiss and cake. <laughs> and everybody other two singles I have out, Honey Whiskey or Melody of the Moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Like, I've been songwriting my whole life. Like, I remember getting kicked out in math class back in uh, seventh grade. I was uh, <laughs> writing a song that how much I hate math. Yeah. And my math teacher, she looked at me from the corner of the room when she came to me and she snatched it out of my, my book and uh, she tore the page out and apparently she put it on the overhead that whole entire day about my, how much I hate math to all of her other math students and then of course she got me out of her class very soon after that. You should have charged her like hey no no that ain't free that's yeah, my I, lyrical property all right you owe me 20 but bucks. I never 20 bucks do whatever you want with it. Yeah and then I remember the next uh the next day I went to my English class where your English teacher was like hey Sophia come here I was like what she's like you missed a you couple ever, commas here. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, <laughs> She's like, have you ever thought of uh, doing like a uh, poetry contest? And you know when you're like seventh grade, like you're 12, you're like, what is that? Like, yeah. what the hell? Who likes poetry? Poetry? Nah, singer, songwriter, yeah, man. That's right. Like, I like slam poetry where nothing <laughs> really makes sense. Yes. We just keep going Free like verse, this. man. And we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Does it go with the Did you write shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I've been songwriting my whole life. So yeah, Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac, Camille Young, Classic Rock. I could go on. Oh. Like, well, I, oh goodness, yeah. I, like, Good inspiration. Cash, oh, yeah, Johnny everybody. Cash. Good inspiration. Oh man, Waylon uh, Jennings. <sighs> There's this song, um, American America Remains. Mm. Whoa, and then the girls uh, redid it, and there was um, some female artists that sang, redid that song, and oh, it's so good. Oh man, I, I love the storytelling mm. stuff. Like, it's fuel to the soul. <laughs> Have you gotten the chance to re meet Ron Houston? Uh -uh. Come, like outlaw country, this man. Ooh, local, I local man. Oh my, you gotta find him. Okay. He's dope, but Ooh. he's got this song that is. It's I can't. But it's like I shot a man in Texas <laughs> just to watch him die, and then the chorus is like Johnny like oh, Jack. I know that but song. But I like, but I like Jim Beam. No, I see that. That's a Johnny Cash. Uh, yeah, yeah. I shot a man in where yes. you know just to watch I him die. Actually, have die. a really funny story but, about man. That, that chorus game. got me like. Like, what? Ooh. Johnny like Jack? Well, I like Jim Beam. <laughs> You're like, what? Oh, it's hard. Good. Like, what? <laughs> Speaking of Ring of Fire, I have to say this funny story. Okay, so I was at a gig. I want to say, like, a few weeks ago, I was at uh, Frankie's in Escondido, so not mm. too far. So uh, mm -hmm. at Frankie's at Chicken Lisa's. Pretty cool spot, like, very, like, local and everything. But I was singing Ring of Fire, and, like, right when I got to the chorus, it's like, I fell into the burning ring of fire. Right when I sang that um, there, it was like the last one of the last songs of the night the floor was wet and there was a sign
sign that said, like, you know, like the wet floors. There was this uh, local guy. He was walking, and then right when I said, I fell into, he literally went, like, oh, boy, right in front of me. And I was like, oh, and I was like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I'll just keep The show must go on. Like I'm like the soundtrack of his life. Like, like, I, I kept going and it was it was really bad, but um, really you good know, at the same uh, time. I, you know, us musicians, we go through really weird stuff and we just keep oh, it yeah. going. The bar scene is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. always good stories there. Oh yeah, yeah. So when you said you quoted the Ring of Fire song, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, we have to for good content. We we got at least. Mention the story. <laughs> yeah, was, well, oh man. What were you playing on tonight? Uh, so I was playing a Taylor uh, 914CE. I know. Ooh, yeah, you I are. know. Uh, mm, yeah, nothing wrong with knowing. It's for my grandma. My grandma recently passed away. Thank you, away. Grandma. Oh, yes. R.I.P. Yep. Grandma. I wear her ring all the time. I don't know if family's seeing. Mom, Dad, hello. Um, yes, I, I wear her. All, I bring her all the time with me to my gigs. And, mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. This. Uh, she. Yeah. Definitely. Also inspired me a whole lot with music. Very. Uh, yeah. She was a very cool, Grandma. Like she yeah. had like the full like afro and stuff in the 70s like total hippie (laughs) and she liked turquoise and stuff a lot like me but uh yeah she uh left me the guitar and stuff and yeah so i'm i've been so inspired to write more and more songs Mm. lately because i'm like she's with me she left you a great guitar yeah Mm -hmm. i know it's a really nice guitar I get a lot of like mean looks oftentimes from the distance while i'm at gigs and stuff Mm -hmm. i'm like some old guys are like but then I saw there was a meme on Facebook where they say if a musician makes a that kind of face, that means it's the highest compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta shake their hand out to it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna write a song about you called. Oh yes, there's a song I've been writing. It's called Free Advice, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a new one soon. <laughs> oh, that's a great title. Yeah, that's a great so, title. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I'm so saying? close to singing that one. This girl and their song but... titles are great. <laughs> yeah, that was based on the. Remember that that story I told you where that guy um, emailed me, oh, and um, yeah. yes, I I am so gullible, and he so this random person emailed me and. Uh, they were saying something about how you sing the same songs all the time, blah, blah, blah. Me and my wife, we want to hear different stuff. And then on the name, yeah, I was like, oh, I was like, dude, I like singing over 200 songs at my gigs. It happens. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And go see some other artists. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dang. And uh, the guy's name was, uh, uh, I, I, okay, I'm real innocent and everything. So he, I, like, I saw it. His name was Jack. And then I saw me Hoff. So I was like, oh, Jacques Mihoff. I'm like, man, okay. Uh, who's this guy? Mr. Mihoff. So I like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I went on Facebook. I like went on Google, you know, and you try finding people. I was like, who's this guy? He's saying his, him and his wife comes. Is this my bad friend or something? Oh, yeah, I love Miss Mihoff. Yeah, yeah, who the heck is Mihoff? And then sure enough. Google Urban Urban Dictionary is like Jack Me Off is an alias, and I was like, oh. alias, alias. Uh, I know I'm so bad with my words, but yes, <laughs> yeah. Really so yeah, sadly. So then that inspired my new song, Free Free Advice. <laughs> That's awesome. coming soon. Coming yeah, hopefully soon. next uh, live stream. <laughs> so. Do you have a dream guitar, or if you're, what's just what's next oh, on the bucket list? Oh man, I I love. Okay, so I'm a big fan of um, of uh, I don't know if you guys heard of the YouTube channel Acoustic Life. <laughs> That guy is pretty cool. He's like this total hippie dude, long beard, long hair. But I saw his videos a couple of years ago. He had short hair and like he wasn't like all hippie like that. So mm, he's a lawyer now. I, I'm watching you, man. <laughs> but yes, um, I've been watching. Uh, like I, I, I want to get a resonator guitar. I want a mm. mandolin. Um, Ooh. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah I want to. I want it all. But oh I yeah, know. Ron Houston has an incredible mandolin player in his band. Oh yeah. But I do know guitar wise, we can go on and on. But I. Really really want to get a, a jumbo Gibson, even though mm. it may be like this much bigger <laughs> than me. It's like, oh, you, got, <laughs> like, you just see head and some light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, but a jumbo, and then I've always wanted a hummingbird, and I did see that hummingbird custom koa. Mm. That, oh. was, that was the oh. second option. That was the first yeah. option, honestly. Right. But uh, the Gibson factory said that it would take over like, uh, like seven months 
to get my guitar. That's so. actually not that bad. So I was no, like, but the seven months is nothing. I was, like, yeah, I was just I was like, I was oh, so it, close. it isn't yeah, that bad. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, so again, we're impatient. No, I want it now. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah. I was, uh, and then I, then I was thinking uh, the Martin D forty five because, oh man, I, even though it is a bit, like honestly, you could just go with the D forty two or go with like you know something but the less. D forty five three love times the better. I abalone. The abalone is cool. <laughs> so I don't know, and um, but yeah, it's funny how I met that Taylor. I I went to Where'd you meet him? Uh, a guitar center, yeah. and it's funny because <laughs> like my last guitar was a Martin guitar. And I was in there for I want to say like seven eight hours. Like the employees got to know. They gave me well. the guitar. They're like, hey, just here, Get just out. here. Get yeah, and I stayed there forever. And that's when I fell in love with the guitar. But then with this guitar, it's completely the opposite. I walked in and I was like, oh. Ooh, flashy guitar! And, like I started playing it, and I was like, "Oh, this is like the opposite of my Martin's bright, fun, and everything." And then I, I was with my mom, and my mom's like, "Just get it." And I was like, "This is like a lot of money. You don't just do that." She's like, "Just get it. Grandma would, Grandma will help." And I was like, "Okay." So then that's that's my <laughs> Thank love you, Grandma. story. Yes, that's the love story of me and my Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you? Where can we find your music? So you can find my music. Uh, so I do have a website. Took a gazillion years to get the domain, but I have it now. Yeah. So it's savannahk.com. Oh, uh, nice. You can find um, like links to my YouTube. Um, I have like uh, I do have a YouTube, but I know there's other Savannah K's out there, so <laughs> kind of have to compete with them. But, um, but yes, I'm on Apple. Oh, there's only one Savannah K you want to <laughs> listen to, though. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can find me on Spotify, Apple, because I do have two singles out: mm -hmm. Honey Whiskey. And uh, Melody of song. the Moment. I know Honey Whiskey's so fun. <laughs> that was something I found out. Like, I was singing in the shower. It's like, sweet light, sweet light, honey whiskey. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> it's a <finger>. banger. <laughs> 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 and I was like, okay, let's do this. But then, but yeah, then I have all of these songs in, like, the uh, archives. Now, I, so soon... Hopefully, I'm I'm wanting to release a full album, full length. But we're, it's so we're hard. all waiting. Yeah, because it's like I, I don't know. I'm I, I feel so overwhelmed with like because I know there's like there's like it's a full like entourage with it. You know, <laughs> like you gotta have like you have a bass guitarist, you gotta have a drummer. Like I want like it live, like Chris Stapleton, how he has like live drumming and stuff. That would sound way cooler than a drum kick. Cause I know my Honey Whiskey song had. Like hey, you gotta do what you gotta do at the time. You gotta do what you gotta do at the time. You wanna put yeah. Yes. We all balling on a budget. We live balling large in a budget. small way. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> yeah. If, if Chris Stapleton's producer is out there, man, I got a lot of songs. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, do you have any shows coming up? Um, so I just started college again, so I, uh, honestly, Costa. yeah, Maricosta, and, uh, uh, psych psychology major, uh, but, um, I honestly haven't really looked, uh, through September, I, normally I'm real, yeah, I've, I've seen her schedule, gigs, damn, like, in this, like, this week has been crazy, but I know I'm playing at, um, uh, at a winery in Fallbrook, uh, in September, it's, um, um, oh my goodness! Uh, sorry, guys. I told you guys earlier how I say I say the I say vineyard like vineyard a lot. <laughs> the winery. So it's having a We're gonna go to the winery at I the wanted, vineyard. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, it's a winery, and it's 1924 <laughs> in Fallbrook, and um, and I'm also gonna be playing over at Frankie's um, throughout the the month and um, camp store again. So just you know. I don't know. If you guys are interested in hiring me too, I do private parties as well. I did that <laughs> last last month. I, I was at a horse or, or last month. This month, wow, August. I was at a horse ranch. Um, Horse. Horse ranch. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a horse ranch. And, <laughs> and I was at Palomar Mountain for a woman's yoga retreat mm. camp uh, fire. Uh, and I like I sang songs until the, the park ranger kicked me kicked me out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yogi but Bear came out there? But it was a paid gig, so it worked out and uh, it was I the played last they kicked minutes. me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great story right there. <laughs> Yeah. They said go. I played one more song. That was actually my first <laughs> private event too, so that was very mm. interesting. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Was, and then I was at a, another private event. It was a, like a birthday party. That was way cool. And mm. like San Juan Capistrano, and I could see like Dana Point, oh, the, the ocean. Yeah, like, Dana Point's gorgeous. Oh, but yeah, but. Yeah, I, I do have um, a link on my website, so com slash upcoming shows, or you can find it on my, my little link thing. Um, link that's where I keep all of my shows, and uh, I can't think of everything on top of my head, but that's where You don't where have I keep to. Everything. That's what it's there for. <laughs> do yourself yes. a favor. Go find your yeah. stuff. Go see your live. Follow It'll me be on a Instagram, good time. Savannah K Music, and you can yeah, Again, see all of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you here. for having Thank me. You, Thank Savannah. you, Savannah. Thank you, Jess. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jess Phelan. Thank you, Lady Reed. Thank you, M. Cable. Thank you, Thank you Wild Guy Guitars, James Hood Guitar, for all you do. Until yeah. next time, we are out of here. Peace.